This is a review for the Ferrari CX30 Boys 20 inch mountain bicycle. First off, this bicycle is produced by the Italian owned Bicyclo Turbo in Mexico. They are known for their high quality hand produced bicycles and this bicycle is definitely in that tradition. The Ferrari CX30 20 inch bike was in production from 2007 to 2011. The original MSRP was around the $700 mark. Beginning in 2012, small amounts of leftover inventory started showing up and randomly at big box stores like Toys R Us and Sam's Club. Typically this happens when a warehouse liquidates a complete inventory, sometimes at bankruptcy auctions. For those lucky enough to find one of these bikes in the big box stores, the price ranged usually between $150 to $250. A small handful recently got into the Overstock.com inventory and went on sale for $199 with free shipping. So, I picked one up for my six-year-old son. Inside the package was the nearly fully assembled bike in a box. The box contained the owner's manual, a useless CD, parts detail slip, and quick assembly steps. With the paperwork was a compact $20 bike tool that had everything that you need to complete the bike. This includes adjusting the riser slash handlebar and putting on the pedals and the wheel reflectors. Knowing this bike has been in the box for at least a year, I checked all the bolts and all the cables. The rear derailleur required a quick adjustment and the brake cables will definitely need a few extra adjustments as the cables stretch out during its first few weeks of usage. The tires and tubes may be slightly warped or damaged from being warehoused for so long, but they seem to be holding shape under pressure for now. Now onto the bike and its parts. The frame is aluminum and the welds on the back joints look nice. The front joints have a polished weld and you really have to look hard to see those welds. It almost looks like a carbon frame just from those front joints. The paint job is also very excellent. All of the decals are underneath the clear coat of paint. This means you won't have stickers peeling off after a few rides. It also means you're less likely to see minor nicks and scratches. The painted rims are nice and the saddle has a stitched line to it. The pedals are well go and they cost about $42 on eBay if you include the shipping and handling. The Suntour suspension was advertised as a maximum travel of 50 millimeters and it did measure out to be 50 millimeters. However, after dialing in for stiffness, I was only able to get about 30 millimeters of travel from it. But still, the suspension fork retails for about $70 with $20 shipping and handling. The disc brakes are your standard 160mm, so finding new discs and pads won't be a problem. However, the levers are also standard size. For a 6-8 to eight year old kid, it may be a stretch to grip the brake levers. This bike also has a Shimano 12 speed with two cogs in the front and a six cog Shimano tourney derailleur in the rear. It also has the Shimano Revo shifter and CI deck. This combination usually costs about $100 retail. I'm not a fan of the CI deck and will likely remove it once my son gets used to uh, shifting gears and going up and down. There are quick release levers on the front hub and on the seat post. Part for part, this bike is most comparable to the 12 speed Scott Scale Junior 20 bicycle. The difference is being the out-of-the-box Scott bike does not have polished welds, disc brakes, or the CI deck, or the quick release lever on the front hub. The Scott bike also has plastic BMX pedals, while the Ferrari has a true mountain bike Welgo pedals. The Scott Scale Junior 20 retails at about $450. Clearly, if you're lucky enough to pick up a Ferrari CX30 under $450, consider yourself having a good or great deal. My one complaint about this bike is that it's going to be ridden by my six-year-old son on the cross-country trail, so it's bound to get a few dings and scratches on an otherwise beautiful bicycle. Thanks, and have fun out there.